Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is Tea Talk with your girl. Listen, while you're here, like the video, share the video. But most of all, if you are new to this channel and have yet to hit that subscribe button, hit that button, hit that button, hit that button. Listen, all things on the channel are alleged. And in my opinion, they are for entertainment purposes only. Okay, that is it. And that is all. Listen, y'all, listen. Uh, I want to talk about the segments of the um, show tonight with Kimmy, Mel, and Tisha. I'm going to go ahead and name this the Shady Spa Day because I feel like it was full of shade. Yeah, it was full of shade. First of all, Kimmy... Don't even let Mel sit down good, okay? Before she is telling her that her life on social media is like a diary. That's like she's giving her personal diary. And Mel lets her know, yeah, of course, I want to support. I want to, you know, let my fans see what's going on. And, um, you know, they got a problem with that. That's jealousy to me. But at any rate, then she says, well, you know, I saw your name changing ceremony. It was on the internet. And since it was on the internet, then I was uh, apparently waiting for to get a phone call to get invited. And Mel lets her know, you know, this is just for the, um, it was just for my family and my closest friends. And clearly, Kimmy, I don't know why you thought you were one of Mel's closest friends. I mean, the way you went into that, confessional and put on a goddamn performance about how you know where y'all stand now and you wasn't invited and you act like your whole little feelings was hurt but i'm trying to figure out why because for the last uh five years y'all ain't done shit but not support this lady make fun of this lady everything she do y'all had something negative to say and i mean y'all meaning the scots and martell because you know what y'all picked the goddamn side Y'all did what Nell and Chris refused to do. Y'all picked the damn side, Kimmy. So I don't know why you went asking this woman why your ass wasn't invited to her intimate gathering. I, I'm, I'm very damn confused about why you twisted your mouth to ask that woman why she wasn't invited. I mean, why you wasn't invited to her shit. Then Tisha, oh, I wasn't expecting her to invite me anyway, but I was expecting her to invite Kimmy. After all, she did have this breast cancer party for Kimmy. I wonder if that was 50% of the show, though. I wonder if the show asked Mel to have that or did Mel just have that on her own. See, because, baby, I know how these shows work. Some of this stuff is coaxed along. Now, Mel giving us her real life, but that don't mean that some of her scenes are not being produced. That don't mean that that was a produced scene and they asked her to have that party so that they knew she would be a part of that party, right? They wanted her to be there. So it would be nothing for them to say, hey, Mel, can you host this party for Kimmy? We would like for you to host the party. It's nothing for her to do that, right? So while Tisha's sitting there trying to act like she don't know, she be faking her own goddamn scenes. So you mean to tell me that Kimmy and Mel can't have a moment on there? You do it all the goddamn time. Shit, you just did it with the whole pregnancy test, but we'll get there in a minute. But y'all, I couldn't believe these two women sitting in there acting like they couldn't understand or fathom. And Tisha, oh, she put laid it on thick. Oh, yeah, I, I would have assumed that, you know, she had her breast cancer party so you know I, I would assume yeah well you assume wrong you assume wrong that produced scene don't make them no more closer than they was before and yes Mel also tried to give her some clientele that could have just been hey I see you went through a rough time you done gave up your job you done done all this and now you done been hit with this C 
So let me see what I can do to help you because I don't want you to fall behind on your shit because I know that nigga over there ain't helping you. So let me see if I can help you stay on your feet so you don't get down in the process. That's what I really think that was. I don't think that was produced. I think she just felt sorry for Kimmy ass and she didn't want to see Kimmy fall by the wayside because, baby, where do Maurice work at? Allegedly and in my opinion. I ain't seen him do shit. He said the night he was a lawyer and he had plenty of lawsuits, but, baby, where they at? Where they at, though? Where is they at? Do he mean that his brother got plenty of lawsuits? I don't know, but I know that man ain't child. Anyway, let's stick to let's stick to this scene. Okay, this segment. Child, Kimmy, back to her. You asking Mel, why didn't you get an invite? It's just like, oh my gosh, walking up to a stranger saying, Why didn't you invite me to your house? Like, girl, y'all co-workers. Y'all are co-workers. And she just happened to be a little more cordial with you than the rest. But baby, there's been, like Mel said, let me tell you, let Mel say herself what she had to say. How about that, y'all? Let, let's let Mel say what she had to say. Hold on. Let me get there. Because Mel, Mel summed it up real nice. Okay? She summed it up real nice. Here we go. You and Jalen take the same last name anymore right and right. It's, just, it's a part of life marriage divorce it's just one of those things where you know it is what it is my kids know what it is and what it was so it don't bother me at all me choosing not to invite tisha and kimmy you know um <laughs> i really wanted people there who have been very supportive in my growth and you know in this new chapter of my life and let's just be honest you know the past few years we haven't been getting along um there have been sometimes we're getting along sometimes we're not sometimes we're throwing shade sometimes we're not um that line clearly being there on if you're for me or against me hasn't really been fully drawn so i knew i just wanted people who i know without a shadow of a doubt are sincerely in my life with a genuine intent now, she said what she said she want people. She wanted people there that she knew had a genuine, genuine heart for her, and y'all don't have it. Okay, you will sway with them Scots any given day and turn against this woman. You have mocked her. As a matter of fact, you even mocked this name change ceremony. Okay, so why in the fuck would she invite you, Kimmy? You are a snake and you shed your skin every year to become a bigger snake. Okay? So that's why she didn't invite you. Because y'all not genuine with her at all. Y'all want what y'all can get from her table that she prepared for you. And that is all y'all want. So that's why she didn't invite your ass, Kimmy. Because she ain't cool with you like that. Y'all co-workers and y'all get along good enough to work. It ain't nothing more than that. That's why your ass wasn't invited. Okay? Nell and Chris, on the other hand, were invited because even after the divorce, they didn't choose sides. They chose to love them both because they started off as couples together. And they didn't want to get rid of neither one of them. I don't know why, but that's on them. Because me, I would have got rid of Martell ass just as fast as I could say my goddamn name, okay? Because to me, he's the scum of the scum of the scum, okay? And that's just it. I would have got rid of his ass. But at any rate, they, she invited Nell and Chris because they've been a 100 grand to her. They have not swayed right or left. But you have, Kimmy. And that's why you didn't get an invite. So sit your ass down. Okay. And figure out what you're gonna do if if you don't get no contract. That's what you ought to do. All right. Listen, y'all. Like the video, share the video. If you're new to the channel, again, go on and hit that subscribe button and join the T Talk family. I will catch you all in the next video. Don't forget to like this video. All right. Have a good one. T Talk with your girl.